Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Hey everyone, this is Mark Babbitt from Cryptvisor. On behalf of everyone here at Cryptvisor, I would like to send you our holiday greetings and wish you and your families a very wonderful Merry Christmas and a great start to the new year. Now, it might seem that we here at Cryptvisor have been eh, rather quiet lately. However, that is anything but the case. I'm going to take this opportunity to share some news and some updates with you related to our further development and global strategy for the next year. The Cryptvisor Secure Messenger user base continues to grow. Updates are frequent, along with new features and fixes. However, the major challenge we have been facing is the slow user base growth and commercial gain that we would all like to see. Vadim, together with the core team, have been constantly working in the background and have been relentless in moving forward to address efficient solutions and gaining necessary resources to power them. Here I'm going to bring to light and disclose details of the main strategic solutions and global directions which we plan in the next year, 2020. These past few years have proven our core technology. Automated encryption and blockchain authentication has taken security and privacy for the everyday person to a completely new level. We succeeded in packing this technology and implementing it into a working product, the Cryptvisor Secure Messenger. Driven by our mission to constantly improve and expand our ecosystem, we have decided to build another private and secure communication oriented product aimed at businesses. We've named this product CEP, Cryptvisor Enterprise Platform. The new year will see Cryptvisor launch its STO, Security Token Offering Campaign for Cryptvisor Secure Messaging Platform and Cryptvisor Enterprise Solutions for Business. This covers Internet of Things, the IoT industry, uh, H2M, M2M, human to machine, machine to machine industries, and so much more. The Cryptvisor platform for enterprise and business solutions will be based on the new next generation hybrid blockchain core, and it will introduce a decentralized enterprise framework, including Cryptvisor private networks, decentralized transport level and data storage protocols, IoT, smart homes, autonomous devices, and M2M industry solutions like for smart cities, Cryptvisor virtual machine, and enterprise grade smart contracts. It will also introduce Cryptvisor enterprise modules, including DApps, decentralized applications, including Cryptvisor Secure Business Communications, Secure Collaboration Tools, Cryptvisor Decentralized E-Commerce Marketplace Solutions, Decentralized Channels, and more. Now, for those of you who have been with us since the beginning, you're going to have the chance to benefit from your ever-enduring faith and belief in Cryptvisor at the time of the SDO, starting in the first quarter of next year. First off, what is an STO? Security token offering. For some of you, this might be a, a new concept. So I will take a moment and explain what an STO is. Basically, <clears throat> whereas an ICO positions their coins as a utility token that give users access to a native platform or decentralized applications, the purpose of the coin is for usage, not necessarily for an investment. Yeah? And as a result, ICO platforms circumvent legal frameworks. And they do not have to register or comply really with much of anything. Yeah? Um, <clears throat> where pure ut with pure utility tokens uh, raised by an ICO, it could be really difficult to assess the true value of that token. Yeah? and whether or not it is priced fairly. An STO, however, uh, is more like that of a traditional IPO, where an investor is issued a security token which represents 
their shares within that company. When people buy into an IPO, an initial public offering, when a company first offers their stock out to the public, the people receive in return a paper, a certificate. With an STO, it's basically the same. But instead of receiving a piece of paper, you're receiving a security token, and everything is written down within the blockchain. Compared to an ICO, STOs are seen as much lower risk because of the security laws that security tokens have to comply with. These enforce transparency and what's much more important, accountability. Yeah. And a security token will also be backed by real world assets. This is something I have been preaching for, for the longest time. Yeah. And in this way, it makes it much easier to assess whether or not this token is priced fairly in relation to, in, in relation to the underlying asset. So basically, an STO can be seen as a hybrid approach between cryptocurrency tokens and the more traditional IPO, initial public offerings. In other words, to make a long story short, holding security tokens means becoming a regulated legal company, a public shareholder, with the same rights and benefits of the initial founders. Now, the Cryptvisor STO will be offering security tokens with dividends, profit rights, and some other benefits for the public shareholders. Now, more details and information and targets will be available next year after the publicly official announcement of the Cryptvisor STO campaign. Now, to partake in next year's STO, there are a few options available to you. Uh, for existing CVN holders and ICO participants, we are considering a special round on the pre-STO stage where you will be able to convert your CVN to the new STO security token uh, at a huge discount of more than 80%. This will give the chance for all CV coin existing token holders uh, to benefit from the private pre-STO sale before the public STO launch. Now, for those who don't hold CVN before but would like to purchase the new SD token by exchanging CBN, we will also offer uh, large discounts to the special community round on the pre-STO stage. Now, we expect this action will support the price of CBN for the reason being uh, converting CBN to the STO will be much more beneficial than directly purchasing the STO token at the public sale. Yeah. Now, I'm sure there are some of you out there uh, with this thought, this question going round and round your head. Uh, why? Why have we decided to do an STO after we had already done an ICO? Well, there are many uh, reasons, uh, serious reasons. And um, one of them is uh, for the funding of development of the decentralized enterprise platform yeah, for the existing enterprises, smart companies, and uh, decentralized applications. Now, we're going to expand the company's resources and hire new talent to make sure we can keep actively developing both the Cryptvisor Secure Messenger and the new products and build and deliver more than ever before to all of our users both retail and enterprise and institutional. Uh, we'd also would like to allocate funds for the mass marketing cam and promo campaigns to adopt Cryptvisor Secure Messenger for the mainstream. Among the main purposes of arranging the STO, not only for funding targets, but also taking this chance to build a hype around Cryptvisor in CVN and make Cryptvisor great for the community and to our future new members. Considering the, real, considering the real conditions of the current cryptocurrency market and the utility tokens output, 
we found it to be fair to give our ICO participants, long-time holders and believers, to legally become part of Cryptvisor. To be actually illegally a part of the company and to share the benefits on which we feel that we are heading towards. Now, more details about the Cryptvisor STO rounds, the terms, the conditions, uh, token metrics, participation, benefits, and financial targets will be disclosed and promoted and promoted uh, in the first quarter of next year, 2020, when the official STO campaign will be launched. Now, <clears throat> there's something else. Also, within the first quarter of 2020, Cryptvisor will officially be launching a brand new corporate product for enterprise, a tailor-made white label secure communication integration solution for businesses. Now, this is going to be complete with white label branding, dedicated private network, customized features and functionality, different integration packages, smart administration and management, overcoming of the bring your own device and your MDM corporate challenges, uh, advanced and modern cryptographic models. Now, this is also going to be open for the companies to add any extra features which they might require. So with the SDO coming up and the launching of our enterprise platform, and business solutions for corporations, 2020, next year, is full of exciting new opportun uh, opportunities for Cryptvisor and for all of you, the community. So that about wraps up <clears throat> what we wanted to say here today. Um, well, once again, uh, we all here at Cryptvisor, I want to wish you a very pleasant holiday. Uh, Spend some quality time with your friends and family. Yeah, unplug for a while. Yeah, and uh, yeah, have a good time with your family. Um, we want to thank you for your unwavering support and really your trust that you have put in us. Um, we want to thank you. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Let's make 2020 great. Check the halls with Ciao. boughs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la.